Welcome everybody, it's Tractor Shoot here for a great game of StarCraft 2 with a little 1v1 action, a little PvZ for your needs this morning. In the lower left hand corner, we have the blue Protoss being played by the man you see chatting himself for Team Copper. It is Firewalker playing as the blue Protoss in the bottom left. In the upper right hand corner, it is our Red Zerg. You will be playing by Wiseren. Wiseren will be playing as the Red Zerg. And is going to get the good old scout moving across that map there. Taking a look at our APM tab. Make sure we're not playing at too high of a level this morning. It is a good old 35 to 14. Love it. Pretty even these guys are. Both of them are in Silver League. So it should be a half decent game if you ask me. Actually, I do, I do believe that Wiseren wasn't ranked at all. But Firewalker is in Silver League. So that is close enough. Looking at our good old scout across the map here. Firewalker is going to make his way all the way over there with his nice little probe and is going to find out the timing of that pool which is not going to be anything special as he's probably going to go hatch first or something interesting like that or he's going to go a 13 pool which is something Firewalker will not have to worry about at all but Firewalker looks like he wants to plant a proxy or do something to delay some sort of expansion definitely recommend a move whenever you play Zerg especially on uh, any map where the uh, natural is so easy to wall off um, yeah, or not there. Like I say, anytime you are playing a Zerg player, you can pretty much uh, sit right outside their natural and get ready to do a little bit of pressure because 99% of the time, a Zerg is going to drop that hatchery really quick and you can at least delay it or get a cancel out of it. But in this case, it doesn't look like Wiseren is actually going to do anything like that. He's going to get his pool down uh, at about the 12 drone mark and he's also going to get gas out at the same time. So he's not looking to put down a hatchery anytime soon from what a from what I can see here, uh, Firewalker at the other end there, he does have his forge up, so it looks like he's running some form of forge fast expander, maybe even a little bit of cannon pressure. By the way, he does even have a pylon at the other end of the map, so not entirely sure what he plans on doing or if he plans on doing anything. Does look like that drone did uh, not at win the battle. Sorry, the drone just actually took off. If he did win the battle, I must have missed it. No, he did not win the battle, so he just basically took off out of that engagement, went back up into Firewalker's base. But Firewalker, in the meantime, has got this baby all nicely walled off as much as he can here. He will probably plant a uh, good old Z-Lot right in the middle there, and it does look like he is going to expand right away here. Still has the probe standing down there, doesn't have any intentions of doing anything with it. And also gas at the other end, which is now being mined, has the spawning pool out. Uh, still no extra hatchery out of him here, which is a little bit surprising. He's got the Overlord scouting the map for him here. So getting somewhat good map vision. Does have the Overlord down at this end as well here. Firewalker has that cannon down, has a probe that's going to stand around, not build anything for now anyways. And also has the one gas mining three, so very even on the gas count there. And yeah, I heard that. I'm still not too sure what Wiseren's plan is here. He doesn't even have any dogs out yet, but yes, there we go. There's the hatchery. Firewalker will be finishing up with his uh, pylon there. So this, uh, barring Wiseren doesn't react right away, Firewalker can plant down one cannon, one to two cannons, depending how many he wants, and that will at least get rid of that hatchery. I would have to imagine at least force a cancel on it. Here comes a couple dogs out, so you might want to start dropping those cannons pretty darn quick here. Or you might just want to stand around for a little bit here. So these two dogs are going to get out nice and early here. I don't know if he can actually see that pylon to be on. No, he cannot. That's what I was going to say. Must not be able to see that pylon at all. So he's just going to stand up there basically at the top of the ramp to at least have a little bit of uh, forces up there. And there's the cannon. Very good placement if he gets it there as that will be unviewable as well and should be in range of the hatchery per at least pretty darn close. All right, so he has revealed himself now. So these two dogs should react very quickly. Four dogs now should react very, very quickly onto this here just so they can get out there or they might just stand around for a little bit and i'm pretty sure you can see that uh no oh wow <laughs> i'm actually very shocked at the limited vision when you have an unbuilt hatchery here but either way he did know that the probes back there uh, and now he really knows that point here so he is going to long distance mine this cannon is going to finish up and i don't think he has the dogs to deal with it but does have some bane links so if he does want to deal with it it will be a little bit of a loss uh, with the Banelings there, but he could still deal with it if he chooses to do so. This cat's going to kill off the three dogs quite easily here. Breaking down the three Banelings. So he is actually going to put the Banelings into that cat in there. Of course, they shouldn't be able to kill it, I don't think. No, cannot quite kill it, but it, that drone might. No, still can't do it. Wow, probably one of the worst engagements you'll see. Firewalker, in the meantime, is wasting a lot of money down there. More than what he needs, to be to be honest with you. He's taken out a lot of Banelings, took out a lot of dogs, took out a lot of drones. So really didn't need to waste these last two. These two cannons themselves would have probably done the job. Even gets a free Overlord kill. Apparently Overlords are expendable according to Wiser in there. Not entirely sure why he would fly an Overlord over to the cannons for no reason. Two more dogs coming out. 
There's a bunch more dogs. These dogs are all going to waste themselves on these cannons here. Not entirely sure, but he might be able to get one kill. Oh, he's getting close. <laughs> there goes the third one there. So that's basically a guarantee that uh, Wiseman will not be taking him out here. Has a couple more dogs coming out here. I uh, really hope he's going to leave the dogs up there. Needs to get some roaches or something out here to try and fend this off here. Does he even have a roach warren? No, he's just got the bailing nest at this point in time. Meanwhile, at the other end there, Firewalker's... Um, I would have to assume his attention is down at the uh, other end there, but does have a Stargate out and the one gateway that he has out there. So this uh, hatchery does eventually goes down. The Brudlings will try and surround that cannon there, and they'll do as much damage as they can, but it will not be enough to kill them off here. So we'll have three cannons here, and they will be basically be able to delay this expansion for a very long time here until Wiseman decides what he wants to do. And Spire is going to be his choice. So he did go right to his Spire. Obviously, Spire on one base won't be the easiest of choices there. So, uh, But in the meantime, it does look like Firewalker surprisingly reacted with a cannon in his mineral line. So not too bad of a maneuver there. Also has that Stargate going to pump out some Void Rays there. And Warp Gate technology will go as well. A little bit surprised he hasn't looked to expand off of this uh, great... Uh, delay on the hatchery there also has his mothership core down the other end here mothership core could do a lot of damage obviously with the queen in there won't do a whole ton but also has the proxy out here as well so lots of area to warp in at this end of the map here firewalker might actually look to expand here which wouldn't surprise me too too much if he wants to put some pressure on his opponent there opponent does have a few banelings on the map here so not too bad there and the spire will finish up when the spire does finish he will have enough for a whopping one mutalisk not too sure what he's gonna do with one mutalisk but once that gas count gets up there he will have enough for two so two mutilists could hit the field pretty quick here. Firewalker does have his Void Ray on the map now. And he is going to sit back for a little bit. Also has a pylon planted in the other area. Basically really making sure his opponent can't expand there. So very smart move there as well. And there we go. Overlords will all compile themselves up here with a three-way party. And there's the Spire. His Spire is down. Let's take a look at our production tab. We should have two mutas. There we are. Two mutas going to hit the field here. And also has some banelings and some, some dogs there. Uh, realistically should leave this stuff alone if you can and maybe go to put some pressure on Firewalker or look to expand maybe way over here somewhere. But in the meantime, Firewalker is really delaying everything. He's got guys everywhere making sure his opponent can't get expanded. And there we go. We are going to plant another uh, pylon down there or a cat in there, sorry. And the Void Ray comes down to support as well and the expansion did go down. <laughs> Well, maybe I knew how much of an asshole Firewalker was. Who knows? But either way, he did actually choose to expand here. And now he's going to move his dogs and banelings down there right into the Void Ray. And please don't tell me they're going to waste themselves in the building buildings. Um, yes, they are. All right. Not too surprising there. But either way, he's actually going to take off here. And he's going to go up here and he's going to waste some more banelings up here, I'm sure, just to kill this pylon here. Uh, here we go. And they're going to get in there right away there. They are both going to... No, he's actually going to waste them on the units. Okay, fair enough. And there's the Mutas. So Mutas have exposed themselves now. So Firewalker knows what to expect. Knows that the Mutas are on the field there. Uh, a little bit of good micro. That Stalker might be able to kill off the dogs. Uh, mutas will definitely massacre it for sure here. But either way, Firewalker might actually pay for not ma macroing pretty heavy off of that uh, great, great delay there. Does have enough cannons here though to at least fend himself off for a little bit here. Is putting down a second pylon. For that one cannon he's going to have at the entrance there. And it looks like Wiser is going to back off here. A little bit surprised he's not going to press the pressure the main mineral line. But he is going to go after Might get a mothership, uh, mothership kill here, which will be pretty sick here. And actually does knock it down quite easily there. So very well done there. And he's going to knock down some gas too. Not too much Firewalker can do there. Firewalker only has one cannon at the uh, main base there. So if he really puts some pressure on that main base, it would be pretty deadly here. Killing the expansion is going to help a lot. It's going to be a big win for him, but at the same time, might want to start pressuring that uh, main base there. Obviously, he doesn't know what's at the main base, but it would be a pretty smart maneuver to at least do so, knowing you're so far behind. Maybe hope that you can get in there and your opponent isn't ready for you here. But either way there, he is sitting on the uh, four Mutas who are going to kill off that gas. And there's a Stalker in there, and they'll wheel him right into the uh, min mineral line there, which has the cannons there. Walked over to another cannon. He thinks that's the only pylon. Oh, almost. He is actually going to lose one there. So did lose one, might lose a second one there. Void Ray and Cannon is out as well here. Does have three more, so has six Mutas on the field now. Sorry, I didn't realize he lost the one there. Has these six Mutas on the field here. So he is going to uh, accumulate them at the top of the ramp here. And Firewalker will just relax for a little bit here. Should be rallying everybody down here. Or just maybe leave them right here. Fair enough. He is getting a Phoenix as well. So very smart. There goes Mothership Core. Mothership Core might want to uh, 
yell over to the void rays and say, hey boys, let's go down the other end here. We're all uh, meeting down there, but apparently not. Mothership Core is a little bit of an asshole too. He's going to go down there all by himself here, rally up. And here comes the Mutas getting the back of the base here. They're going to try and kill off another pylon. Almost lost another one to a cannon for no reason there. But we'll get rid of this pylon. Not entirely sure the whole reason behind this. Not really going to do him a whole lot of good. Now he's going to work on that gas there. And no, in fact, he's going to move right into that pylon there. We'll have a couple pylons fire him. He doesn't seem to care. Uh, not the best of engagements, my good man. You might want to get out of there pretty darn quick here. Mutas do not like cannons or void rays or stalkers. And he actually does get out of there. He does end up losing a couple more there. So he's down to five now. And there goes another one that's going to melt with the void ray. And we are now down to four. So... Not exactly making the smartest of engagements, plus a photon overcharge goes down here. He elects to engage this very big waste of units here. Don't think that was the best. He should have really accumulated as much as he could uh, before moving out there. Either way, I don't know if it was uh, if it was possible for him to even come back here. And there we go. Queen does get lifted up there. Voidbrain will melt that queen quite easily here. And a couple stalkers going to go to work on the gas as well. They'll finish off the queen first here. There goes the queen. There goes a couple dogs down here. Here comes the void rays, and that should basically be GG. Good to know there's still cheese from Silver League. Not entirely sure where the cheese was, but either way, maybe putting the cannon in the back of your natural at about the six-minute mark is cheese. But either way, very good game, Wiseman. I give my condolences to you, and my congrats to you, Firewalker. And I'll leave you with this. If you open the pickle jar... And you don't know how to open a bag of chips? I make myself wonder how you don't use a mouse pad. Thanks so much for watching. You be good. Don't hurt nobody. Peace.